to this continuing adventure of building the loft inside the Jaws Jr. Entertainment World Headquarters, also known as the shop. So for now, what we're doing is we are getting the uh, stairs put in and we're also going to get a landing put in right now. So I'm going to take you in there and show you what I've done so far. It's not the greatest work, but it's built strong. So there's already a couple issues that I've noticed with it, but you know, that's okay. It's for me. If nobody else likes it, they don't need to go inside those doors to look at it down, do they? here got the stringers up next cut a bunch of 2 by 12s to put them on here
Well, everybody, this part of the task is done. We have stairs. Usable stairs. So, tomorrow is, or whenever I can get to it, is the handrails. On that staircase, and all the way across the front. I will hold off on putting them up right there because that will make it easier to put things up there for the short term. So, I have not yet walked on these. So, this is the first time. Me and my big feet. Oh, there was an email. Look at those. Anybody who says that, oh, I should have put a third uh, stringer in here, you know, I'm going to disagree with you wholeheartedly and say that these 2x12s are more than strong enough. This is not residential, this is a shop. So, first time walking up here on the stairs. We've got some more screws to put in the floor here. Do that tomorrow. Handrail up. And then paint. We're going to paint the floor. Good morning, next day, time to work on something else, or get in trouble, or both. Who knows what we'll be doing today. Coffee's in me, time to get something done. Okay, everybody, now I am an amateur, big time, so I don't know how to put handrails up. So I'm only doing what makes sense in my simple mind. So I've got holes pre-drilled off of a template. And there's the last one. So what I'm doing is I'm making my posts. And I use the exact same template to pre-drill these holes. And it's dark over here, but I think you'll be able to see this. And get some leg screws to put in there with washers and lock washers. Now I've been told, you don't need lock washers, it's wood. Well, fine, whatever. But I came to the conclusion that these ones here are not going to be long enough. So I am at a stop. I don't want to really move any further until I go get some five inch leg screws. Yeah, I think five inch will be good enough. Well there we go, the handrails are done. My little template idea worked very well. Now these I have attached from the back side. A little bit cleaner look. But yep, that looks pretty good. Nice and straight. And it'll look better once I get the handrails painted. That's probably later on this spring after I get the other garage tore down. Well, we are done. I've got to remove the tape yet, which I'll do that tomorrow. Make sure that there's no little wet spots in it. It's been about seven hours or six hours since I've did this, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> mm. 
not too bad. Now again, a future project is going to be to sand these railings down, clean them up a little bit, and paint the railings and the posts from the floor level up the same color as the trim on the shop. But you know, other than removing the tape, I'm calling this project a done. I think we did pretty good on this. Loft itself. The stairs are built very strong. Very, very solid. I actually think I did a pretty good job on this. So I want to thank everybody who's helped me. Uh, Wes and the Mrs. Jaws Jr. primarily were the two people. Uh, Sam came over here. He was a wonderful help. Uh, helping me out getting this stuff going. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff that was kind of mundane. It was nice to have somebody here to talk to and, and help out with a little bit. So basically with the three of them, there, the three of them um, it was great to get things done. Now there's one tool. Let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about that. There's one tool here that saved my bacon. I called it the third hand. It came from Harbor Freight for less than three bucks. I got two of them. I couldn't have done this without those two three dollar tools. There's just been no way. Uh, the times that I was by myself and I needed a third hand, there they were. I'll be honest, best money in the world for something as cheap as these were coming from Harbor Freight and I didn't even break them, which is surprising because I put a lot of torque on these things. So, there we go. So, I'm going to conclude this segment. The build of the loft is done. So for now, everybody, just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, now with a cool loft. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!